when you had written this book, did you did you sit there with your people and go, man, you know, if Oprah's book club was still around, wow, would this be big? <laughs> you know, I I didn't ever even let myself think about that. Um, o Magazine, her magazine, had done an interview with me, and she called the, that editor and said, what Cheryl Strayed's cell phone number, and that editor gave it, handed it over, um, and my phone rang, and I said, hi, this is Cheryl. She said, hi, this is Oprah. And I paused and I said, it is. I recognized her voice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't recognize Oprah's voice, right. right? So, but what was pretty amazing, it's really quickly, I was just talking to another person who'd read Wild yeah. and who really connected with it. And this experience has made me so much less cynical about what happens to a book in the world. Because all of the good stuff that's happened for a while has been because somebody read the book and just, and just liked Love it a it, lot. Yeah. Did you bounce drafts of this book off your other writer friends? Yes, I'm in a writer's yeah. group in Portland, Oregon, where I live. Yeah. And some of my the, my, the members of my writer's group are people you might know, Chuck, the writer Chuck Polinick. What's this? You know, every Monday night, each of the people in my workshop, we bring in so many pages, and you have to read your pages out loud to hear how they work out loud. And, uh, and then everyone sort of, you know, figures out what works and what could work to better effect. And so, you know, right now I'm coaching them on their self-help books of their genre fiction, their thrillers, their romances. And, and they've been coaching me on rant. Mr. Chuck when he was on this show. Talking about that writer's group. That's right. Yeah. That's that very same writer's group. And he's right. We have, you know, we have a thriller writer, a romance writer. We have different writers. Chuck and I, you know, are very different writers. You know, I write literary memoir, literary fiction. And I should say, one of the funny sort of running jokes with Chuck, every time I would bring a scene in from, from Wilde, he'd say, well, you know, I think it would be better if, like, the guys, like, the, the, the two guys, actually, that there was this sort of homosexual sort of tension between them. And I would say, well, I can't do that because that's not true. That's not what really happened. It's a memoir. He'd say, it do that doesn't matter. You know, it's just all for the story. Right. So if Chuck ever writes a memoir, right. just, you know, maybe... <laughs>